Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be doing a Bybit step-by-step -step tutorial. If you're not familiar with the exchange, use the link in the description to create your account and it will also help supporting this channel. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this video. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to the link in the description, click on that or you can manually type in bybitbonus.com. That is my referral link and it will help you to claim the bonus. So now that you're on the um, home page, you just want to go and type in your email address and then of a password and you can click on sign up. Okay, so now that you've created your account and you're logged in, now what you want to do is you want to go to your assets page and the way you do that is on the top right hover over your email address or your phone number. Then click on the second one which is assets and it will take you to the asset page. Before you can start trading, you will need to deposit some assets first. So under Sport Account, you can choose which asset you want to uh, deposit by just clicking on the deposit next to the coin. Or if you want to buy with your bank card, you can just click on Buy Crypto and you can use that option as well. Now you'll see in your asset page that is two types of accounts. One is Sport Account and one is Derivatives Account. So you're going to use Sport Account to Sport Trade Coins and you will use Derivatives Accounts if you want to leverage trade. So if you go to Derivatives here on top, you will see there's going to be Inverse Perpetual and USDT Perpetual. So the difference between these two are if you're trading Inverse, you're actually holding that coin and you're trading it. If you're trading USDT Perpetuals, then you're trading the altcoin against Tether, but you can still leverage trade it on Bybit. Now before you can open up any trades, you need to hold the balance first in one of the accounts. So if you want to be spot trading, then you need assets in your spot account. And if you want to leverage trade, you need to have assets in your derivatives account. So let's say you have money in your derivatives account, but you want to spot trade. Then you can just go to this transfer option and then you can swap money from your derivatives account to your spot account. Then just choose the asset and then also the amount you want to swap and then just click confirm and then it will swap it over. So after doing that, then you have the balance in the account you've swapped it to. So for this example in the video, I'm going to be doing leverage trading. So I want to be uh, uh, holding assets in my derivatives account. So we'll be trading BTC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this exchange option since I'm holding my capital now in USDT. So I can't trade Bitcoin if I'm holding USDT unless I trade USDT Perpetual because then I'm trading my coin against USDT. So we're going to be trading Inverse Perpetual which is BTC USD. So for that I'm going to swap some of my Tether into my Bitcoin. So I'm just going to swap let's say $100 and you click on quote and then you just convert. So after converting it then uh, it will either give you an error just click again so it generates a new price and then it says exchange successfully. Now you can go on top and you can click on inverse and BTC USD. Now you will see this trading page. So this is where you'll be opening and closing your trades. But the first thing you need to do is you need to change your leverage. So on the top right, you will see by default is going to be set on cross and 100x. And I don't recommend you start trading with cross leverage because that means you're going to be using your entire wallet to trade with and not only the amount you choose to trade with like with isolated. So I'm setting mine on isolated and I'm using 10x. You can use whatever you want but remember there's going to be a liquidation price which means if that price is being reached then you will lose your entire position. So the higher your leverage the smaller your liquidation price is. So that means basically that the market has to move less percentage for you to get stopped out of your position. So I'm going to be using 10x for this example. Okay, so now you'll see that there's limit, market and conditional orders. These are three types of orders that's basically going to open up your trade in a different way. If you're using a limit order, it's going to be beneficial to you because they're going to be paying you a rebate fee. That means when you're using market, you're basically taking orders out of the market and you're going to pay them a fee. So this is why it's beneficial when you use limit orders. But the thing about limit orders is you need to basically predict price where it's going to be at. Because when you're trying to enter a sell position, your limit price needs to be above the price. 
the current price so if you want to set a limit order at let's say 31,800 then all you would do is you're going to set 31,800 now you want to choose your quantity so remember I swapped 100 US dollars into my trading account but because I'm using 10x when I click on 100% it means I can trade up to a thousand US dollars because I'm now using 10 times more since my leverage is on 10x so let's say I want to enter a sell position you can either use sell with take profit and stop loss and then you can set a take profit and stop loss before you enter your trade. So when you're entering a trade at let's say a, a short position at 31,800 and you want to have a target of 30,000 you would just say take profit 30,000 and let's say a stop loss around 32,500. So I'm just going to place this for example and then I'm going to say sell short. So now you also see the position that you're targeting, uh, how big percentage wise it is. And I'm going to click sell short. Then it gives you this confirmation uh, pop up. So now you can see your order price, the quantity, how much it's cost in Bitcoin and also the value. And then you're going to have your liquidation price. So this means if this price is being reached, you're going to lose your entire 100 US dollars that you're opening your uh, position for. For me, it's 100 dollars because I'm opening up the trade with 100 times 10x leverage, so it's a thousand. But since I'm only using 100, I can only uh, lose 100. So because I have a stop loss, it means my stop loss will get triggered before my liquidation price get reached. Because I have a stop loss at around 32,600, uh, but my liquidation price is at 3,500. So that means I won't be able to lose all of my money because my stop loss will get me out of my trade before that. So now if I click on confirm, you will see that this is going to be your limit or the price so I'm not yet in a position because that target has not been reached yet to fill my position so now you'll see your order is going to be this box as you can see there's a limit order waiting to fill at 31,775 with the amount of $1,015 so if you want to change that you can just click on it and hold it and you can drag it up or down and if you leave it, it will just amend and it will say successfully submitted. So now they have changed my entry price to 31,822. And also if you go uh, to active, you can also see it right here and you take profit and stop loss if you want to adjust that before the trade enters. If you want to cancel it, you can either click on cancel all or just click on cancel. So this is limit orders. If you want a market order, then basically what you want to be doing is you want to click on market and then you're going to select the amount you want to trade with. So let's say we choose 50%. So because it's hundred dollars times for uh, times 10 is going to be 492 because it's a, a slightly less in there. And let's say I want to now enter into a long position because I've set it on market is going to be a immediate entry. So click on buy and now you'll see I get my confirmation message again. So again, my liquidation price is now at 28,000 because I'm now entering a long position. So it means if price were to fall down to 28,000, I would lose my entire $500, but only 50 because I've only entered this trade with 50 times 10, which is going to be around 500. So if I click confirm, it will now enter me in a trade immediately. So if I click on position, you will now see that I am in this trade. So now you can see I'm in a Bitcoin trade with 492 quantity and the value again with my entry price. So this is my liquidation price and this is going to be my position margin. You can adjust this during a trade but I wouldn't recommend it because that will be changing with how much you're actually in your position worth. Then you will see there's going to be this unrealized PL. So unrealized meaning it's still in an open trade so it can still change a value if you're going in percentage or going into a loss. You'll also see when you hover over it it's going to change because that means it's then going to show you what the value is in market price. Because right here you will see that this price differs from this one. This is the market price which means it is basically a few exchanges average price and it's going to show you here. The last price is the one that's on Bybit. So this is the one it's trading at right now. So if you're in a trade and you haven't set a take profit and stop loss yet and you would like to set one, all you do is you're going to click on add uh, take profit or stop loss and now you need to give it a value.
So you can either drag this box around to look at price targets. And if you just want to use a fixed percentage, so let's say we just choose 25% and a 50% stop loss and we click on firm, it will then again show you on the chart. You can also click and hold on this and drag it up or down for you to adjust. So if I want to set my stop loss just below this week, I just drag it to the week and I leave it and it's now submitted. Same with take profit. If I want to target above this week, I just leave it right there. And now you'll see it also changes right here. You can now also use a trailing stop. The way this works is you need to activation price if you don't want to use the entry price and then the USD it will trail by. So if let's say you want to uh, activate, but it, it needs to be below your take profit because a take profit will exit 100% of your capital uh, of your position. So let's just move this upwards again. And now we can add a trailing stop. So let's say I have an activation price of 31,450 and I want the price to be trailing with 50 US dollars. So now you'll see at this level, there will be a basically a stop loss that's going to trail being activated right here and it's going to trail by $50 and sellers get hit and then you get out of your, your trade. So I'm just going to um, show you now if you want to remove it, you're just going to click on, uh, yeah, just make this zero, I believe. I'll just remove it and click confirm. Now you'll see it has been removed. And you'll also see now that is a close buy. The reason why there's a limit and a market exit is because again, you're gonna pay a fee with a market exit, but you're gonna get a rebate if you limit exit. But you need to know how to limit exit because if you're trading with a very large amount of quantity, it might not get filled and some of your position might still be in the trade going into a law. For me personally, I use market exits because that just gets me immediately out of my position and then I don't have to worry if price is going to go the other way uh, or against me. So I go in a further loss or lose some of my profits. So you'll see if I click on market, you can now choose how much of your position you want to close. If you want to close only half of your position, just click on 50% or you can manually type the amount that you want to exit with. So I'm going to be closing 100% and I'm just going to click confirm and now you'll see that a trade is no longer here. If you want to see uh, previous trades, all you do is you go into the top right again, you're going to click on orders. This is going to take you to your order page and because this was a leveraged derivatives uh, trade you just go to your derivatives account and then you can click on order history. Right here you can see where it filled your take profit, your stop loss and also closed PL is just an easier way to see what happened. So at the bottom you will see your total realized and also your daily realized. So this is because of the trade I just took. It ended up in being a loss. So I've uh, lost around $1.44. Also you'll see unrealized. If you are in a current trade, then it will show you your, your current profit or loss at mark price and at last price. Okay, now the last order you can uh, use is a conditional order. So a conditional order works uh, similar to a limit order, essentially replacing the trade and not enter immediately. So the reason why you want to use something like that is if you're doing, let's say, technical analysis and you have a pennant or a bull flag or something like that forming, uh, if you don't know what those kind of things are, I will be making technical analysis video in the future. So make sure to like and subscribe to get um, updated on my new videos. So let's say you just draw like a, a pennant like this. Okay, and now you want to say, let's say if it breaks down, you want to enter short. And if it breaks up, you then want to enter a long. So you can use a market or, or a limit, meaning when that price reaches, it is going to trigger, which is a trigger price. So let's say your long entry is around 30,100. So if this uh, the resistance line breaks at 30,100, then you want to enter a long. So then you're just going to say 30,100 and then also the quantity. So let's say you want to use 50%. And then you can use uh, take profit and stop loss as well before your entry if you'd like. Or you can just leave this box untick and then uh, fill it in later. So let me just click buy. Now it's just going to say confirm. 
Okay, now you can see there's a conditional order placed at 30,100. So that means as soon as this price get uh, triggered, then it will open up a long position. And you can also do the same with a short. So let's say we don't break up, but we're breaking down and then you want to enter a short. Then you can just go and set this at, uh, let's say, 29,600. So we're just going to change that to 29,600. And you can also use 50% if you like, and you're just going to click on sell. So now you're going to click on firm, and you'll see that you have both orders right here. And if it breaks up, you'll enter and uh, into a long position. And if it breaks down, you enter into a short position. So that, that's just an easy way you can play trades without looking at the screen the entire day. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to sign up, use the link down in the description. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them. And if you guys want to join my trading server, there's a Discord link down there also. Make sure to join and leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.